just getting started. Good stuff. So you, I don't know if you remember, you did an ad for Smith's Toys a couple years ago. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was one of our most successful ads. So thanks very much for taking part in that. Um, hopefully maybe again in the future, not too long ago, not too far away. Um, so 2016 up to WrestleMania now has been a strange year, I suppose you could probably say, for Seth Rollins in terms of injuries, comebacks and setbacks. How would you summarize it? Um, yeah, uh, interesting is a good way to put it. Um, eventful, maybe, you know, uh, not in my, not in the way that I would want, but uh, it's been a trying year, if you will, uh, from start to finish. Um, you know, I came back in May. Uh, things were cruising along. Um, the Finn Balor thing threw a wrench into everybody's plans. Uh, and then the end of the year was, um, you know, a bit of a struggle for me trying to find my own identity and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> I think things are coming around. Glad my injury wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And uh, going into WrestleMania, looking to, to start the new year, kind of new wrestling year, if you will, uh, on the right foot. What can fans expect from your WrestleMania match with Triple H? Uh, I think they can expect, you know, one of, if not the best WrestleMania match um, on the show, you know, maybe of all time. You know, Triple H is a, is a great talent. He's got a lot of equity built up over the years. The fans have a lot of respect for him. I think uh, the mystery of what my knee is going to be able to do, you know, for me and for the fans both, is, uh, is going to add a lot of intrigue, and I think uh, we've got four years for the story behind this whole thing, so there's a lot going for us. Do you see it continuing past WrestleMania? Uh, that, you know, I guess it depends. We'll see what the outcome is on Sunday, and then you never know, you know. Um, I don't know if Triple H is a one-and-done type of guy or if he wants he wants to do more. We'll see what happens. As you said, there's four years' worth of material to work with. So That's you... true. We uh, we got a lot going on moving forward, so we'll see what happens. Perfect. So I suppose once that kind of ends, whichever way it does end, what would you like to do after that? Or have you sights back on the championship? Uh, yeah, I mean, this, my sights are on the universal title at all times. Uh, but I, I, I think I've got some unfinished business with Samoa Joe. Um, and I think that that's some place I'd like to I'd like to find myself after after I get done with Triple H just to take care of Joe. Sure. So as, I suppose as an Irishman, I suppose I'd be looking to see a rematch definitely between yourself and Finn Balor. Yeah. That was an absolutely phenomenal match at uh, SummerSlam. So hopefully that can possibly come down the line when those guys are have the opportunity to do it. Um, so that's pretty much all I have. I don't want to keep it too long. All right, man. Um, Smith's Toy Superstores. If I were a toy.